wanted to talk about my atheist mostly male theory. Your atheist mostly male theory. What is that? That's right. That um, atheists, just like males, mostly use logic and reason, whereas religion, mostly like females, tend to use feelings and emotions. Okay. Some Jordan Peterson shit right here. Yeah, that is that is a broad generalization that I don't know is useful. Can you give okay. me an example where that generalization would be useful? Because honestly, well, there, there are, I mean, most of the women in my life are not ruled by emotion. In fact, they're, most of the women in my life are freaking brilliant. Um, why would I, it, it feels like you're kind of condescending a bit, doesn't it? That you would condescend to say it's that women just, are somehow lesser? No, no. I didn't say which is better or which is worse. Not no, no, lesser. No. It's, it's different. Fact, no. Oh, is that it? <laughs> That's right. It's atheistic complementarianism. That's, right. That's what that is. Well, the, obviously the men and women are differently and think differently, and women just tend to use more emotions and logic. Generally speaking, there are exceptions, whereas men generally use more logic and reason. Of course, there are exceptions to that. Uh, can I ask you a question, Glenn? Sure. Uh, in religion, what is the population of men in power and perpetuating religion versus women in power and perpetuating religion? Oh, I'm sure the men have more power. That's the way things go. Mm -hmm. But when you take this, the uh, when when I first learned that atheists are mostly male, that's when I came up with this. Okay. Did you use any other kind of analysis to come to this conclusion, or was that basically the first thing you jumped to? Well, once I, like I say, once I heard that atheists were mostly male, then I started thinking why, mm -hmm. and then I reason, I used logic and reason to come up with this, since I'm a male. Got it. So, do you think that? Sorry about that. Um, that is incredibly sexist. Um, sexist to a degree that I am having why? trouble comprehending why so do you think women could not come to that conclusion no no you're saying it's sex no i, I just you asked you a question glenn inferior. wait glenn. Like, let me finish because you think you think that it's inferior that women speak with uh more or think more emotionally um and uh with feelings um but i didn't say it's better or worse you know the, the only difference between male and female is that which we ascribe to it they're descriptors but who we are cognitively the pieces that matter besides our biology, how, how have you come to a conclusion that way? Because honestly, all I see is the perpetuation of a stereotype that has been existent in our society um, for so long that it's been used to denigrate. And so I'm being strong on this because I feel like without being strong on this, we are perpetuating a, a horrendous stereotype that I want to squash. Well, then you're saying that females are, are lesser because they think that way. I'm not. There's a place for females to think that way, and that's what makes the world go round. But men okay, and Glenn, women are different. <laughs> Glenn, did I? Okay. So let's, let's be very clear, right? I said this feels this way, or it appears that this point makes this, uh, that, that this point would say this. At no point did I say, Glenn, you think women are lesser. You can go back and listen. Okay. I use those words very specifically. Okay. And what you just said is, Eric, you think women are lesser because, and then you gave your, so that is. Well, you use the term condescending. It is. It is condescending. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't call it that. I just was just stating the differences and not being condescending at all. I think you were the one no, no that approach. No, so stating the differences without evidence, stating the differences by... I mean, dude, what the hell? How can you how could you account for the mostly male atheists? Fifty two percent of atheists are women because fifty two percent of the population is women. It's it's just it the add case. Up that way. No, it doesn't add up with this way because male. of people like you, Glenn. It doesn't add up that way because we have people who are perpetuating this fucked up patriarchal stereotype, which creates a unhealthy place for women. That's what we're fighting against. It is I one of the things that makes it that difficult, Glenn, it is one of the things that makes it difficult for us to have women in the movement. It's because of that. We got to start by fucking letting that go. No. Do you they understand the massively fucking detrimental view that that is? Women in the movement should get more respect. 
because they overcame their feelings and emotions and think more with logic. And would reason. you like to? That's right here. Um, I feel like that would be an emotional response, Eric. Right? Is it? I, 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 you know what? I can, I can, I can determine that the best place to go because we are being exemplars mm -hmm. is to say, "Get fucked. You're dropped." What the actual fuck? Uh, and this that was is refreshing. That was bracing. The caffeine <laughs> had worn off, and now I'm back. Right. Guys. All right. Um, th th these are people in the atheist community. Mm -hmm. No, exactly. This is this is why. <laughs> and okay, so let's real real quick. Yeah. Jump to some other conclusions about why maybe there are more men in the atheist community. Sure. Okay, let's see. Maybe men are usually uh, given the opportunity to go to college in Christian circles and jump to uh, a more skeptical mindset because they are not being held basically prisoner in their own home in order to become baby makers. That could be one reason. Absolutely. Uh, how about that uh, women in general um, feel like they value community more. It's not necessarily an emotional thing, but let's just say that women value community more. And uh, I'll challenge you on that, but that's oh, okay. I'm I'm making a supposition. This is okay, not my okay, my okay. position. Um, we're just throwing stuff out there because this is we're all being rational here and jumping to conclusions with the first bit of information we we have. No, right? no, <laughs> that's what we're doing. Oh gosh, how atheists work, right, Glenn? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> We're building this community together, and the fact is, um, you, you're right on that first piece, though, is out of the people who walk into this building, the majority of people who've been denied an education are women. Um, and finding your way out and then realize it, that realizing that you've been given a handicap in society because of the faith of that, that cause. Yeah. Um, is is drastically going to hurt your ability to succeed in the future. And that does translate. And on top of that, you have rapists and you have creepers and you have just horrendous people who come in and make it unwelcome. And we're working to fix that. We are working to fix that. I think, I think V can... At least a test a little bit. What do you think? Oh, yeah. We're trying here. Oh, yeah. I know here at the ACA it's about 50-50, so. This is an amazingly supportive community. So, atheist women out there, you're welcome here. Cheers. <laughs>